making of the wine starts with the harvest, normally early September for us in the Sierra foothills. The grapes have been determined to be at the right sugar level, uh, the flavors are there, and the winemaker has decided that it's time to pick the grapes. We pick at night because during the day it could be 95 degree temperature and the yellow jackets you're literally covered in sugar so it's very very uncomfortable it's hot it's sweaty and so that's the reason at night it's like 60 degrees it's beautiful the guys are wearing shirts and they don't have to worry about the bugs the other reason is we ship a lot of grapes to other wineries uh, that have to crush the grapes the grapes have to be crushed the same day the sooner the better after you pick them and so if they're gonna we're gonna crush at eight o'clock or nine o'clock today these grapes or we ship them to another customer and they like to get them fresh. Uh, what we have here is two people making sure that nothing gets in that bin that shouldn't be in there to make wine. Like they pick out any leaves, any bugs, anything that looks like it's not gonna be good for the wine. That is a very, very important step. Uh, and that's why we, we get quality grapes, that's why we make good wine. Now this is the what is called a crushing destemming stage. This is a half ton bin, basically a thousand pounds. They're going into the hopper of the crusher destemmer, and this machine actually takes the the stem off and slightly presses, slightly crushes the grape, and then this pump takes the must and pumps it into the tank. At this stage, the grapes are still at about. 55, 60 degrees because we just picked them a couple of hours ago. Those tanks are cooled to make sure that the fermentation doesn't start. Sanitation is very important because this bin is going to get used probably tonight to put grapes in, so you want that bin to be clean. Grapes go into the tank and now there's about a week-long fermentation process. We add yeast and then three times a day during that week we actually punch down to mix up the grapes. The uh, sugar levels drop uh, as the grapes ferment and the uh, alcohol rises. When the sugar levels are down to zero, you end up with a dry wine. Uh, we're gonna now press the grapes. The first thing they do is they try and get the juice out. Now this is the must. This is about a week later from the punch down. He's got a sieve at the end of this tube and he's trying to suck out as much juice as possible directly bypass the pump so you don't have to put all that juice in the pump. At the end of this thing, there's like a sieve. Mm -hmm. But now they can't get any more juice out of it. Now they gotta go press it. They load up the, the press. This is a, a two ton press. So this, this press will take up to two tons of the, of the shot. We've pressed 90 tons by. The way this works is the press actually a balloon inside and it pushes against a, a sieve and the juice comes out uh, and then it deflates the, the balloon, turns over every 15 minutes or so, and again deflates the balloon, pushes against the sieve. So as it turns, it mixes up the, the must and presses again, mixes up the must and presses again. And after an hour and a half, we get most of the juice out. This is wine. This is no sugar left, no sweetness left to it. It's wine. It's actually 14, 15% alcohol, but it, but it has not aged. And the reason we, we don't go directly to barrels right away, but we go to a tank like this, is we settle it in the tank for a couple of days, let it sit, and the sediment will settle. And then we pump from the top. We don't suck in the sediment. Barrels are steamed, you make sure they're sterile. These are older barrels, but anything that has had wine in it, to make sure they're sterile before you put the new wine in there, they're steamed, and steam is the best way. Uh, on a vintage like well, this year, it's 200 barrels or 200 some barrels, about $62,000 worth of new barrels. So about a third of the barrels every year that we use are brand new. A third are about a year or two years old, and a third are older. 
And barrels actually add not only oak, and not only do they age the wine, but they also add all kinds of spices, all kinds of, depending on the barrels, they will add flavors to the wine. A lot of the flavors you get in the wine are actually from the barrels. The barreling is a big deal. Barreling to a winemaker is a lot like spices and fresh ingredients to a chef. So come to Najjar Vineyards and enjoy a glass of one of our premium wines made from some of our best grapes. And as they say in Italian, salute from our family to yours. <laughs>